Hello, Into Tomorrow fans and studio audience. I'm Dave Graveline. Welcome to this week's ITTV Update. Coming up, Rob's Product Spotlight and Andrea's Tech Term of the Week. We'll see if we can locate her. Do you have any idea what it might be yet? First up, it's time for This Week in Tech History. Chris? Thanks, Dad. For everyone at home that has a garage full of those 12-inch round black discs protected by flimsy cardboard covers, here's this note. In 1948, Columbia Records announced that it was offering a new vinyl light long-playing record that could hold 23 minutes of music on each side. Critics quickly scoffed at the notion of LPs since those heavy, breakable 78 RPM discs, with one song on each side, were selling at an all-time high. It didn't take very long, though, for the 33 and a third RPM album and its 7-inch 45 RPM cousin to revolutionize the music industry and the record-buying habits of millions. This week in 1998, CompUSA announced that it was buying Computer City from Tandy, the parent company of Radio Shack, for $275 million. Tandy was selling the sickly chain as part of a turnaround it had started the previous year. Tandy President Leonard Roberts said, Computer City was a losing operation for the company. The sale will allow us to completely focus on Radio Shack at a time when profits are at an all-time high. In 1999 this week, America Online announced its investment of $1.5 billion in DirecTV creator Hughes Electronics Corp. The agreement gave AOL new high-speed options and expanded ties between the world's largest internet provider and the leading U.S. satellite TV service. A combination of AOL's internet services and Hughes' digital TV system would help increase DirecTV's subscriber base while boosting the market for AOL's interactive TV and high-speed internet services. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Dad? Aw, thanks, son. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. This Week in Tech History, as always, brought to you by TigerDirect.com slash Dave. For great prices on all sorts of consumer electronics, especially goodies for dads and grads this time of year, visit TigerDirect.com slash Dave. How would you like to locate your vehicle if it were stolen? How about keeping an eye on your son or daughter while they're driving your car? Or track your boat or business equipment? Rob Almanza shows us the AnyTrack GPS 100 in this week's Into Tomorrow Product Spotlight. Thanks, boss. I guess you found me, and you did it using this cool gadget. This small device is the AnyTrack GPS 100, a personal tracking unit. The GPS tracker transmits its location to your computer, letting you track and find your family, pets, packages, vehicles, and other valuables. It can be used to track relatively anything you'd like to keep an eye on. The GPS 100 is small enough to clip onto your belt, throw it in a glove compartment, or even carry it in your pocket. It's very lightweight. The tracking device doesn't need to see the sky like most GPS units do because it uses a combination of GPS technology and cellular signals. It's very simple to use, right out of the box. After you charge its internal rechargeable battery, you simply attach the AnyTrack to your valuables. Then, log into your account online to find out where the tracking device has been or where it's located at the moment. When you access your account and look at the history of the GPS 100, you get detailed information including the date and time, address, speed, accuracy of location, and even latitude and longitude coordinates. It's very cool. Plus, there's a detailed map with tracking points. Automatic tracking lets you set your device to report its location on a timed interval or on demand if you prefer. Every time you locate the device, you use up one locate credit. There are several service packages to choose from, starting at about 15 bucks a month. Locate more info when you track over to our website at graveline.com. I'm sure you'll be tracking me into tomorrow. Take it away, Dave. Thanks, Rob. It's time now to locate Andrea Brasino for this week's Tech Term of the Week. Take it away, Andrea. Thank you, Mr. Graveline. The tech term for this week is GPS, and it stands for Global Positioning System. It's a satellite-based navigation technology that uses the positioning of 24 satellites around the world to determine locations on Earth, just like this one. Turn left on Northwest 62nd Court. It enables the receiver to calculate information such as speed, track, trip length, distance to destination, and the position in which you're in. GPS was originally intended for military applications, but later on, the government made it available for civilians. 
GPS works in any weather condition, just like the storm outside the studio, anywhere in the world, so we don't have to get lost anymore. That's Into Tomorrow's Tech Term of the Week, GPS. Now, back to you, Mr. Graveline. Thank you, Ms. Brasino. By the way, our big, cool, Into Tomorrow hot summer giveaway is about to start. How will you find out before anyone else? Subscribe to our once a week tech newsletter. Just visit graveline.com for details or intotomorrow.com if you prefer. But be sure to sign up for our once a week free tech newsletter. Jam packed with all kinds of tech news, some hmm thoughts to make you smile, and a tech tip or two each and every week. And of course, information about this week's show. Just come by the site, we'll be glad to send it to you, 100% spam free, and we don't share your email address with anyone. Thanks for tuning in to tomorrow. <laughs>